Hello and welcome to another tutorial by logosupermarket.co.uk. Today we're looking at spot UV layers and setting artwork for print. I'm going to be using a business card with a spot UV on the front and the back. This clip shows the shiny section on the front of the business card. That's the spot UV. The first thing I'm going to show you is how to set up the artboards. I just minimise the title here. You can see I've got a document with four artboards. I'm going to show you how to set this up now. So you go up to File, go to New, and this pops up. So number of artboards you're going to want to four, spacing, whatever you want. Depends if you've got artwork that goes over the edge. Size, you want a custom size of 85mm by 55mm. This is UK standard business card size. USA might be different. Units and millimetres, orientation is landscape for this one, and bleed needs to be 3 millimetres on each edge. So if you hit OK, I'm going to hit cancel because I've already done that. Now, if you go to your first artboard, you can see I've already put a design in here. Um, it's a good idea to use guides because you need to be very accurate with the spot UV. So if you hit command colon, the guides that I've already put in are already there. You can if you hit Command R, that makes the ruler disappear and appear. Okay, so you can drag a ruler across from here to wherever you want. I put in six millimetre borders just to be on the safe side. So you can see here the artwork for the front, the artwork for the back, and three and four are still blank. So number three here is going to be the spot UV for the front, and number four is going to be the spot UV for the back. Now down here what I've done is create two layers. Normally, normally in Illustrator I don't bother, but for this it keeps it separate. So we've got these two are on the artwork layer, and if you click new layer there, I've put a spot UV. So when we do actually come to doing a spot UV, I'll just draw a square for now, what we're going to do is make it 100% black. Okay, You can see here it's 100% black. Now if you double click the black, you can see that I've put spot UV there. So the printers are in no doubt that it's it's not part of the design, it's actually the just the varnish. So all you do to that is double click the black, put in spot UV, keep it as processed because it needs to be 100% black. And then that's ready, and that's on a different layer. We can tell because the guides on there are blue, the guides on there are red. Okay, So we'll get rid of that for now. Now on the front of the design I've got the logo in this sort of tablet shape. Now what I want to do is put that on artboard 3 over here. So the best way to do it is select it, hit command C or apple C and then you click on this artboard here. Make sure the lines go black on the edge. See there's no black lines here, there is here. So we're on number 3. If you hold command shift V it'll paste it exactly where that is. And that's important because the UV needs to go over the exact object you want a UV. So if I zoom in on this, I've actually pasted it on the wrong layer. So we can just Command Z, hit the spot UV layer, and then Command Shift V, paste it. We can see it's red now, so that's good. Now this object is grouped together. So if you hit Command Shift G, that's going to have ungrouped it. And if now, if you let go of stuff, if you hold down shift and just click the tablet, that's going to deselect the background. And we can just get rid of that there, because this is the shape we want a UV. Now if we quickly just hit black, we can see it's got a white outline. So we'll drag the black across there so it's a black outline. In this case, just a little bit of extra object. Expand appearance. So that's expanded it, you can see there. And then down here, Pathfinder, you want to unite all the layers so it becomes one shape. So I now know that that is in exactly the same position as my logo on the front. Now I'm going to go ahead and do that for these little icons on the back and the logo. So I'm on this artboard number two. I'm going to Command C. I'm going to go to artboard number four. Command Shift V. And there we go. So I'm going to do the same thing I did here. Select this. Again, I've done the same mistake, so we'll undo that, we'll hit the layers, 
spot UV, command V, so it's red, so we know it's on the right layer now. Click this, command shift G on group, shift click, and it'll deselect the background there. So we can just make that black again there. On these, it's a little more tricky because there's quite a bit involved. If I just go along and see what's grouped and what isn't. I'm just going to ungroup all of this and then select the bits we don't want to get rid of the shadow underneath because we don't want to spot UV that. And if we just select it all and hit black then everything there is going to be black. If we've got any transparencies we can just flatten those. I don't think there are any in there. And then if we hit Pathfinder and Unite and there we go. Those are black. So now what you want to do when you come to save it bring the guides back up by pressing command colon you want to make sure that all your text layers are converted to outlines so if you just hit command A that will select everything in the document you go up to type and you go to create outlines this just avoids any kind of embedding issues with fonts and not having to send fonts and instructions and variations and all that kind of thing so once you've done that, you go up to File and Save As. And you want to save as a PDF. You save that. And here you want it to be high quality. And marks and bleeds. You want to add trim marks. And use document bleed settings and then click save. So now when we go to open you can see this is the document we've made. There's the front with the crop marks, there's the back with the crop marks, there's the front spot UV so if I click between these two you can see it's in exactly the same spot. If I click between these two there we go. And that's how you set artwork for print. Please take a second to like this video.